better PP government with the campaign with nothing we get for do with um, the economy we are in, um, the former chief minister being, you, you, you know, being tell the people of this country, see, inside six months term, they will change the economy, inside three months term, they will change the economy. People believe, say, we political party can get um, can the opposition, they can get all the idea. We think it's wrong, we can come in governance. They're not able to handle the issues of the, of, of Sierra Union. Well, um, me and I involved in writing manifestos before, and uh, manifestos are mainly aspirational statements that they make. Having said that, uh, when you don't write manifesto now, you have to be very careful because if you come into governance, they will hold your hand to the fire and say, that's so you've been saved. I think say, anybody where they say you go solve salon in problems in three or six months, mm -hmm. now a bit of naivety. I mean, either naivety or you want to be dishonest to people. The problems, however much government perform well, you know, go just take over this kind of economy. You go say you go solve the problems in three or six months. So I think saying I've been just bluff talk. Um, I think that we see the systemic problems that still there, with uh, corruption, with leakages in the ministries, with us not producing well. Mm -hmm. The underlying causes are there, and then systemic, and it take a long time for solve. So um, I go say that now, been now been bluff talk. Now, um, with what you all you don't describe about the economy uh, challenge for getting for it, and you mention about the global crisis we salon self the suffer as part of uh, countries them we are a member of the global community, and as of last uh, December uh, 2023, salon inflation been the almost 54 percent. With all the challenges, uh, you think say. Salon, they do things, or the uh, way they can say cut you cut according to the size. They do them that way. Well, they then get for attempt for do them. I mean, I see actions being taken by Bank of Salon, actions being taken by the by the Ministry of Finance. Uh, you get a new finance act. You get several actions being taken, but their actions and they um, it can. Help for solve the problem out a little bit, but the underlying causes there, as I mentioned, then go still there. I mean, whoever you get as Minister of Finance mm -hmm. and whatever pronouncements they make, I mean, which are the options when they can choose? Then they go to higher duties, higher taxation, and other things, and then they can help a little bit to bring the revenue come in, but it, it also deters investment and it affects the, the, the normal person on the street. So it's 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 a double edged sword. It's very very difficult for solve them kind of problems and they. Now the last government under President Kuma then been declare austerity and put austerity measures then in place. Where for some believe say government for don't declare austerity and put some austerity measures them in place. You think so we don't reach that level for declare austerity with the current status of the economy? Well, the, the, the use of terms, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the use of terms. I mean, you can this, say declare austerity, then the actions that we they take uh, no, 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 no really reflect that. I think what you may bother about is that it, obviously if times are difficult, even in your household, if things are difficult, you tighten your belt. Uh, you control you, how you they spend money, your expenditure. You can still obviously you get more money. They come in, but if you're not coming, you tighten your belt, you take uh, other measures for take alternatives. You think so? We don't reach that level now? Well, it, things are not, not easy. Uh, I'm not going to say all that government in fault, as I mentioned to you, but things are not easy. And also, um, one of me, I mean, somebody, I respect, they tell me, say, you know, in politics, there are two things there is the symbolic and there is the substantive. So, Certain symbolic action, the way they take, where they send a signal to people and say, this man is serious about this. The symbolism in this case, if you're not seen for be making a lot of appointments and evidence, he say the plug, the leakages, whether that will solve the problem or not, it no matter. But if people and see say, you said they make that effort, they then go, then go say, well, we'll, we'll see, we we'll see to your pain. Okay. We'll go along with you. Things right. are difficult. All right. Things presently with the upon the country get for do with um, the political atmosphere. And uh, plenty of people believe, say, presently we get political thing. You know, not go help the country in peace and democracy. 
how you would describe the political atmosphere presently in Sierra Leone? Yeah, unfortunate, but I've been mean, hope say after the elections, which in mean happened last year, we the whole year we discuss elections and politics that it could be a thing of the past. We, we, the government will get on to governing. But um, unfortunately, this November 26 issue happened. And also, um, there seems to be a lot of animosity between the two major parties. Although on the positive side, it seems like uh, they go along well with this dialogue and whatnot, and we hope they will continue. But right now, um, then infractions that will occur in November 26, it, it set a lot of people aback. Me know some people that they will have been potential investors who for camp we basically just hold back. I know some companies then we basically been expect some help somewhere from them sponsors. We basically then put a hold in, in, on the situation. I know for example, I mean you self aware of that of the holding back of the MCC because of some preconditions we'll get for meat. So all of them thing and they uh, if, for example, the MCC money would be sure say they come in and they revamp the, the, the power sector, that is something we will, will change the face of electricity in a few years to come. So all of them thing that they put together, um, one of the things about investors in certain sectors, security of China, consistency of policy, stability of the country, all of those things are important considerations for investors. You can get the most attractive things mineral or touristic thing for sale, but in the country, you know, be seen for be safe. Um, if then thing they are continuing, you know, they help the country. All right, Mr. Kaili, what is the, 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 the problem then where they cause political tension in the country? The politicians, but the thing where we can say, um, as I mentioned to you, I think say, one, we political parties, they always get their own internal problems. Uh, there is a lot of internal infighting, especially related to flag bearer issue and whatnot. Even when they don't settle that, they always get problems between government and opposition because opposition feels say not them for them power. Uh, government feels say then the opposition already give them chance for govern. So there is always this uh, fallback. But when you look at the situation, part of the problem is that. The private sector is very small. Everybody feels safe for the in governance, ad infinitum, if we continue. Now, because you know, say when you own party candy, now we get the gravy, now we the ghee, then the ghee get the plum jobs, now we get this and that. So there is very little difference between the political thing and the the, 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 the economic sphere. So now that is the hamburg we in this country, because okay. everybody wants to forget political position. Everybody want forget in power. Everybody want men in particular because of that and get influence. So it's very different.